Master Yen Sid. My name is Terra. Yes, Ericus's pupil. I've been expecting you. It is the unversed. Yes, Master Yen Sid. I thought it best to seek the counsel of one wiser than myself. I am no longer a master. I doffed that mantle. But sir, wasn't that your pupil I passed on the way in? He had a keyblade. You refer to Mickey. He too sought guidance here. As a king, he is good and kind. But the weight of a crown has not cured him of impetuousness. He has left with an object whose power he does not understand nor know how to control. Mickey imagines my star shard will be of help in his current quest, and like you, he is eager to use his keyblade to set things right. I'm not sure I even understand what's wrong. Master Xehanort is missing. And now I've learned, there's a masked boy who is controlling those unversed on the loose. To arrive at the truth, perhaps you should approach things differently. First, consider them one and the same problem. Master Xehanort and the Unversed are connected somehow? I must not make assumptions. Find Xehanort, Terra. That is where you should begin. Yes, sir. I had hoped, Xehanort, your heart would no longer lead you astray. Terra! <laughs> Master Xehanort! Terra! Come see me at once. <laughs> Master Xehanort. I have been to other worlds. I know all about the things you've done. I just don't understand why. Someone had to safeguard the light from the demon I unleashed. You must know about the boy by now, the one in the mask. His name is Vanitas, a creature of pure darkness, one of my making. Vanitas? Are you telling me he came from you? He came from Ventus. <laughs> Ventus? Yes. Venetus is the darkness that was inside your friend. <gasps> it was an accident. While training with me, Ventus succumbed to darkness, and there was but one way to save him. Strip that part of him away, and thus Venetus was made. In the process, I damaged Ventus's heart in the most horrific way. So, I did what I felt was right and left him with Ericus. 
I knew the boy could not stay with me. The man who did him such grievous harm. Master Xehanort. Ventus has gotten a lot better since then. You shouldn't blame yourself for trying to save him. Well, thank you, lad. You know how to put an old man's heart at ease. So that's what it was. Is he okay? I'll go see. I'm Tara. What's your name? Ventus. Whew. You can talk. Aqua, come here! <laughs> So, are you here to train with us? Where are you from? Who is that man with you? You good with a keyblade? Uh, 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 Whoa! What's the matter? Are you okay? What did you do? Uh, nothing! I... I just asked him some stuff. Ventus cannot tell you anything. Because he cannot remember anything. Huh? Master, why is Venita still free? Ah, yes. Well, I did my best to contain him the moment he emerged, but... He managed to escape. Hmm. Venetus uses the Keyblade to sow seeds of darkness. And now you see the world's team with his ghastly underlings. <laughs> the Unversed. He has no control over the darkness in his heart. The Keyblade is not his to bear. He's an abomination beyond hope of salvation. Lend me your strength, Terra. Right is wrong that I have wrought. But I have no idea where to find him. What I can tell you about Vanitas amounts to this. His darkness is drawn to the light which he seeks to disrupt, and then destroy. It stands to reason that he will strike next in the City of Light, Radiant Garden. Don't worry, Master. I'll take care of Venitas. <laughs> <laughs> 